We welcome you back inside the Tucson Arena. The Wranglers getting the win on the road tonight in Pima County by the final score of 34 to 32, courtesy of the right leg walk-off field goal there by Mr. Brandon Fisher, Mr. Automatic all season for the Wranglers. But a great win here tonight to improve to eight and two overall on the season. James, folks, for this Wranglers team to rally back from an 11 point deficit, they were down 26 to 15 at halftime. They held Daquan Neal and the Sugar Skulls offense, the number two ranked offense in the Indoor Football League, to 57 yards on 12 plays. You talk about a absolute turn of events, turning this thing, flipped it on its side, and then 2-6 lines up for a 21-yard field goal to walk it off. Caleb Barker rallies back, uh, mends for his mistakes in the first half, plays outstanding football in the second half, rushing touchdown to start the third quarter, and then he throws another touchdown pass and guides his guys down the field with seemingly just seconds to take his guys down the field, James, and he lines up and his kicker kicks the field goal, and the Wranglers are now 8-2 and two in sole possession of first place in the Western Conference. And, uh, it feels good, doesn't it? It yeah. does. I mean, it feels good. <laughs> it's going to be a celebratory ride home to Prescott Valley tonight for this Wranglers ball club, but how about that dart to Glenn Gibbons Jr. in there in the fourth quarter to get things started, get the real momentum going for this team and get them over the hump, and the defense just finish the job there at the end of the fourth. Right, James, because you know those holes, those creases, those they get so much smaller as the third and fourth quarters go on. These defense, the Sugar Skulls played their hearts out defensively. The Wranglers, this was a defensive battle, as you can tell by the score, 34-32. It was not 72-62 like it was a month or so <laughs> ago. It was just that, de that defense of, of a battle, but Barker find, found a way to fight his way back, and the defense played their guts out, and they pressured Daquan Neal in the second half, something they were not able to do in the first half, got pressure on him and made things happen, and then... You, you keep it tight, and then your special teams walks it off. That's how important it is to have, we talk about all three phases, James, that special teams came up huge as Brandon Fisher kicks a 21-yarder to make the Wranglers 8-2. and two. You know, folks, we might sound like a broken record with all three phases of the game. We talk about it every week, but that's exactly what championship football is all about, mm -hmm. and is getting all three phases to gel together, play together, come together at just that right time, and tonight the Wranglers did just that right here on the field behind us getting the win tonight over the Skulls, 34-32 in fine fashion. And then always know, James, that you're never out of a football game. No matter what the score, no matter how far down you are in this league, you can come back in an instant. And that's what the Wranglers were able to do. Offenses were, were, were able to rally. Barker rallied himself back. He got his troops back together, and the defense did their part. And then Fisher comes up and walks it off with his leg. And now we are on to the San Diego Strike Force next Saturday night, 7.05 p.m. kickoff. Myself and Mr. Ed Cole will be online for the pregame show at 6.45 p.m. Pacific time, same time as Arizona as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, that'll be fun as we look to improve on this 8-2 and two record next week out there in San Diego. It will not be an easy one. The San Diego Strike Force will come all guns a-blazing in that game on Saturday night. But the, the Wranglers just have to take care of business and hopefully make it 9-2 and two as they get ready for that big matchup with the Arizona Rattlers in a couple weeks. Let's go Wranglers. Let's keep that train rolling for my broadcast partner, Mr. Ed Cole. I'm James Poovey saying so long. Once again, our final score here tonight inside the Tucson Arena. 34-32, the Wranglers getting the victory off of a last second field goal from Mr. Brandon Fisher. Have a great night, folks. Happy Memorial Day to all of our fallen soldiers and have a great weekend, everybody. Stay safe, and we'll see you next Saturday night out there for the Strike Force.